Welcome to episode two of the small cabin in the woods build. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. The episodes are gonna run about 10 or 12 in season one, just the build. I know it's a big departure from what we're normally doing, catch and cook style, wilderness living, but I promise you at the end, it's gonna tie in perfectly with what we're about to do. This series is really about men doing great things. And I want to inspire young, middle and expert men out there to get out there and start doing great things out in the wider community and start taking back masculinity in a way that hasn't been around for 40 years at least in the culture that i live in so guys get out there start doing great things again the small cabin in the woods is a takeaway from what we're normally used to but it's gonna tie in perfectly later on. As you'll see, we'll be able to do lots of cooking, lots of catching right outside the door. It's bringing us closer to nature. All right guys, so without any further delay, let's jump right into the build and see what a bunch of men can get done. Yesterday we got the main structure uh, dug in, um, put our main beams on our 60, 16 footers, right? Yep. And then on top of that, we're gonna lay something like that. What's that? This is a two by uh, two, actually two inch by five inch. Um, flooring structure. Now that might be undersized, but that's all we have. Yeah, we're, we're using the stuff we got. We're gonna double them up. We'll go probably uh, one foot centers, nail them all together, and that'll be our floor. And we're using dead standing cedar. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty pretty bone dry to begin with. So we got, uh, actually we have a mix. We have spruce and we have some cedar. We had some logs kicking around from before. Uh, mill them all up. And the reason we're using the cedar is because it's standing dead. Yeah. It's dry. We don't have to wait around for the stuff to dry. How many we need? Uh, we needed 10. 10 to do the bottom. I'm um, gonna get them all loaded up. We're gonna zip them over. We're gonna throw them down. We've got some OSB. Uh, it's chipboard. We could do it with the cedar. We could, but it's just so much better. It's so much easier and quicker. And it's frankly not all that expensive just to throw the boards down. You have a nice flat surface to work on. And then we can go up higher. So that's the plan. Let's get at it. Just throwing some blocking down and stiffen it up. Now it's not bouncy anymore. Okay, so we got our dimensional lumber for walls. We don't have our end caps, top and bottom plates. So we're uh, looking around, the cabin's just right there. We got a standing dead over here. I think it's a spruce tree. I was looking for standing dead because the standing dead ones are dry enough they're not gonna warp and twist on us. So, just thinking this one here, it's a huge tree, it'll do everything we need. But it's massive. Which one? That one? It's cracked all the way down. Um, so I can use it? Well, we ought to take it down anyways. <laughs> it's gonna happen to it. The ball is gonna break apart. Might. Let's see what happens.
logs thick and thin. So if it's thick at one side and thin at the other, you taper, you'll jack it up so they taper so you don't lose much material. Otherwise you'll have a big, like a wedge. You don't want a wedge. You want to avoid the wedge. So you're compensating for the taper of the log, allowing you to get more boards out of a tapered log with these guys. These two by fours here, we're all pre-cut. They're uh, nice and dry so we can assemble this thing right away. Cutting the top and bottom plate over there. We need a bunch of 12 footers, so it's a little bit trickier to get those super long ones. I was dead standing, so it's ready to go right away. Dead standing is ideal, but sometimes you gotta cut dry stuff or wet stuff and then dry it. That's where we're at. We got a pile of these, probably enough to finish the cabin more or less. We might have to cut a few here and there. But uh, it's nice to have the stuff ready to go. Ideally, you pre-cut everything, but we're kind of mismashing and uh, making this thing up as we go a little bit and adding a little bit of creativity when necessary. Your standard two by four. We just have to cut them to height. So throwing them up here on the saw horse, we'll cut them all to height. Then we can bring them down there and they'll be all ready to go. Bang, bang, bang. Did discover some of them are pretty wet still and moldy. Not get enough air circulation. These ones are heavy like bricks. Black mold. Somebody's gonna die in this building. It's gonna be all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to check out our selection of windows now. Kevin's got a bunch of salvaged old ones, so we're going to figure out how much light we want to leave in here. It's, um, I think more is better, personally. I think the thing with windows is such a small structure, you put a wood fire in there, it's going to get really hot really fast. And of course, the idea is to experience nature and uh, welcome nature into it. It's not to be completely isolated from it, so more windows is better. But we've got to pick the right ones. Um, see behind my shoulder here, there's a bunch all here. Some super, super big ones, but uh, I gotta see what he has in mind, what he's thinking for windows. Like, uh, he's got some smaller ones up this way. It's kind of like a galleria of scrappy leftover stuff and bits. So we got four windows one, two, three, four. We salvaged some lintels. We're gonna use these to, uh, instead of building them, these are free. Freebie, salvaged, full of nails, obviously. So these were salvaged out of a house that was gonna get torn down. Perfectly good windows, they open and close. We've got a fixed pane window here. We are not sure what we're gonna do with. And then we have another one. This one opens and closes frosted, so we might use that for upper. Check out this, this view already. We're up nice on the hill already, and then we're gonna get up even higher once we start building a loft. Like, we're up high already. I don't know if you can tell, but we're overlooking everything. And we're gonna have a balcony that wraps around here. We've got the kind of a balcony here. That's kind of where it's gonna be. But the it's all gonna be wraparound. It's gonna be really cool. And um, so the door's gonna be on this section here. We're gonna have a fireplace here, wood fire stove here. Kitchenette's gonna be sort of over here. We're gonna salvage some stuff from the um, camper, the fridge, uh, there's a propane stove. We're gonna pull all that stuff out and yeah, we're gonna have a loft up top. It's gonna be pretty cool. Six and a half. Make sure it doesn't fall off the edge.
All right, guys, we got one wall up of four. Next episode, I think we're gonna be able to put up another three up, three walls up, and I think we'll uh, get a good sense of the structure. We've got a good layout. We got one wall, one window in here. We're gonna throw up our lumber up here so it doesn't get all warped out. We've got our windows picked out. We know where they're going. We've got everything laid out. We know basically what we're doing. So all the uncertainty is out of it now. We just gotta build, build, build. You're not in the frame. Am I in the frame? My head's off, is it? I don't know.